so I have just taken the children shopping and I'm now about to go to a park where I'm meant to be meeting a friend and her daughter and I had a message from Fraser saying there is a load of 900 watts continuously on our system at home we have no idea what it is first concern is that I've left a tap on which seems unlikely because I'm usually really careful if that's the case then the pump's going to be working overtime draining our batteries and also all of the water's going to be gone so that's horrendous or secondly something else is wrong something's working overtime that shouldn't be so obviously that's really worrying so i'm sat here i'm waiting for my friend to arrive i'm gonna have to ask her really nicely to travel all the way back to mine with me which isn't close because we don't live near lots of local parks so um katie if you're watching thank you in advance and i'm really sorry i've got two kids in the back who are expecting to go to the park and it's moments like this where off-grid life is a bit Last week, Rachel went out for the day, I was out at work, and I could see there was about a thousand watts being used, and it was like continuously nearly all day. It wasn't a tap that had been left on, I think the sensor on our pressure switch got stuck, and it kept thinking it was needing to top up the pressure, and it was running the pump, but it wasn't running any water anywhere. So it was just all day and it was about a thousand watts. Luckily it was a sunny day. If it hadn't been sunny, we'd have drained our batteries and been in trouble. It's given me a bit more urgency to sort out a thing where your generator can come on. When your batteries go below 20%, the generator comes on and tops up your batteries to stop that from happening. I mean, it's not ideal when things like that happen anyway, but it's even worse if you come back and your batteries have been completely depleted. So I bought this thing and it's a compatible auto start by the way I'm, I don't know what I'm doing I don't know if this is going to work I'm hoping that you will be able to stop start this with the Serbo GX and the touch screen or potentially even on your phone or laptop start and stop the generator and also have it come on automatically when it drops below 20% and I was going to run it so it goes sort of 40 perhaps 50% charge and then it switches itself off so it's a Honda EU 70 IS generator so yeah basically that plug goes in down there there's a little bit you take off in here that goes to where the battery compartment is and then you just plug it in you take out a plug that's got like a loop on it and then you've got this other wire that comes off here which I'm hoping is your two wire start thing you know then that can go to something like an automatic transfer switch board where it knows when the power's cut off and then it starts the generator this thing also works you can get a fob for it so you can work it, it wirelessly with a fob so we'll be wiring that up and it's literally two wires first of all we better check if it actually is going to work it's going to sit in there so this company where i bought this from i think this was a lot this was a lot cheaper i think it was 114 pound might have been 140 pound we'll put a link in the description there was ones in america that definitely said they were two wire start stops but they were much more expensive and you had to pay a lot for shipping. I think it was $56 shipping. So it was all getting a bit expensive and I didn't really want to spend about 300 quid on it. So I don't know if you can see that in there. There's a little one of those in there that you've got to pull out. You can see I've messed around with this before and I've had to loop something over to get this to start and stop with just the key even. I've faffed around with it, trying to work out whether it was a two wire stop start or whether I can make it work because I thought well, there's only two wires there maybe it'll work it didn't work like that for me so then basically plug this in and then I have my two wires in, then that are going to run to the Serbo GX Relay 1 that have got to go in here now these are just these push push things you just push it in there and it just holds them in there like that obviously I've got to put this on the wall somewhere out of the way before I do that, I better check that it's actually going to work. Our wire's in now. I need to go and wire it in the other end. So you have to leave it in the on position, like this. I've got the little relay type switch thing out uh, that's in the bottom of the Serbo GX. I don't know what you call these. It's like some sort of terminal that's a pressed thing and you have to push your wires in there. And that goes into relay one on the Serbo. And I think, if I can remember, I actually did a video on it and I forgotten it we have to go into normally open circuit and the sign that says com it's got normally open com and normally closed so I'm gonna go normally open and com
remember I'm not qualified at this this is off grid and I don't know what I'm doing I'm just one of many people trying to do stuff themselves only difference is I'm filming it for everyone to see generate a stop start run stop manually except starting in so many seconds it runs I can hear the generator running we have been successful in making a start stop generator connection so we're just going to look at the generator and see what that's doing See if we press stop now if it's actually going to work. Press cancel button to cancel. Stop in two seconds. Two. And then you hear it die. So as long as I've got internet I can start that up when I'm at work um, or anywhere really in the world I guess. Right so we're just on the touch screen now up, up in here. We go back to the main page. Let's go menu. I think it's in settings. So go into settings, generate a start stop, auto start function is switched on. Let's go to settings, conditions. You can set it so you can run it when your inverter starts to overload or something like that to help it out. So it will switch on. If your inverter is struggling with high temperature, it will come on. Battery sock enabled. This is all we really care about 20%. So start when battery stock is lower than 20 percent and i think that's the right way to do it i don't know because i've not tested it but i'm just showing you what it's got on there and i really won't know until we reach the 20 percent mark start when battery stock is lower than 20 percent start value during quiet hours uh i don't know why that's 20 percent. i don't know what that's even supposed to mean so would you like to explain what happened last night so it's just gone 12 in the morning and I've just woken up to the sound of the generator kicking in and so we must have dropped 20% so um, that's going to now charge up to 40% and then um, hopefully turn itself off but I'm going to bed Yeah so uh, my stop start um, thing uh, works uh, that we put on a generator and um, it, it gets to uh, when there's 20% left in the batteries it comes on and is to charge to up to 40% well it came on last night at uh, uh, was it I think it was 22 1 so 12 40 not 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 great and um, but you, you can adjust it, so you can have quiet hours on, on, on there, but I didn't uh, didn't think we'd need it. It was a very quiet night last night, wasn't it? If it was windy, you probably wouldn't have heard it, but it was very loud. Mm -hmm. It woke me up. And as you know, we've got two children, age two and under, and I don't need to be woken up any extra. No. Neither do you. No, but it works. It was, it was reassuring to see it, it working, starting up, because... Uh, but you were a bit annoyed as well because the winter challenge thing we were meant to be trying to last so many days so it was perfectly sunny today and we would have charged up a good amount but it came on last night at the end of the day this is to avoid what happened before when the pump got stuck on and we were losing power really rapidly and now we know it will do that yeah so the reassurance is there which is good it's a good backup so that is really important but it was just annoying um that it happened when we were trying to see how far we could go without the generator and also that it happened in the middle of the night and on a night which was really quiet and happened to wake us up but mm. there you go these things happen so if you'd like to have a look at how we set up our servo gx we have a video here <laughs>